warheads. Next thing you know, like several countries next door to that person is going to feel the effect of that nuclear radiation. And why should some innocent bystander four countries over be affected by what two other countries are fighting over? You know what I'm saying? Because to me, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You know? If you want to fight, you want to you wanna fight wars, you want to get into a pissing match with every other country, fine, whatever. But do it the old-fashioned way. You got planes, you got boats, and you got ground soldiers. You know? <clears throat> You ever heard of proton bullets? Oh, these things are fucking cool. If you YouTube that shit, your mind will... <laughs> Weapons technology is progressing. Okay, if you don't want to look it up on YouTube, I'll explain it. A proton bullet is basically like any other bullet, but when you fire it, it allows you to shoot a laser projectile from your firearm. And it goes through shit for miles on end. Oh, yeah. And they make proton bullets for shotguns. They make them for AR-15s, all kinds of shit. Uh, here's the kicker of it, YouTube. When it comes to AR-15s, if they're used for mass shootings, like the Pulse nightclub or Sandy Hook, people are like, oh, the, that gun's evil, Arr, you know. But as soon as the AR-15 is used by the police, by an FBI agent, or by one of our awesome troops fighting the terrorists, all of a sudden people are like, AR-15s are awesome, blah, 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 you know. So there really is two sides to every coin. I know a lot of people get so fucking tired of the guns don't kill people argument, but it's the truth because guns are a human-made invention. You know what I'm saying? And a gun just sitting there is not going to do anything. You know, it really isn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a responsible gun owner, and when I see irresponsible yeah, gun owners it. getting talked about on the media, it makes my head hurt. Like, oh, I need a cigarette. This is some bullshit. Oh. In fact, okay, let, let me just... One second, Facebook. <clears throat> now, to demonstrate my point of guns don't kill people, notice that I have this thing right here, and of course I'll cock it open halfway so you can see that it's empty, of course. Keep the gun empty and decocked unless you have to use it. And it's very easy to check it if it's safe, you know what I'm saying? You open it halfway, it doesn't cock the internal hammers, you know what I'm saying? So, um, which therefore means, see what I'm saying? Um, now watch what happens when I set the gun down right here. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Guns kill people, huh? Huh. Well, shit. It's not moving! Because it's an inanimate object. And if you want to be technical about it, cigarettes kill people, the sun can kill people, cell phones can kill people, cars can kill people. Pretty much damn near anything underneath the sun can kill you. You know? And this country was founded upon, the United States of America was founded upon the right to bear arms straight the fuck up and I guarantee you if any of those asshole mass shooters would have used any other sort of firearm it would have been the same thing oh that gun's evil this and that gun's evil that, 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 you know I might have another pack I might not right. this is my lighter boom Now, the reason why I have the sling tied here with the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, zip ties. The reason why I have the zip ties tied right there so that when the gun sits 
the butt of the gun literally hangs at my side so that when I go to take it off, like literally when I have it on, the butt of my gun sits right there. When I have it, when I have it com on my back completely, so that if I have to take it off, I could just swivel it off my back. You know what I'm saying? You gotta check this out. I'll show you what I mean here. All right, go like that. Okay, now this is this would be the field position right here, and I have it there so it stays in place. And now if I if I'm coming up on a target, if I'm coming up on a target, I'll do this real slow for demonstrative purposes. If I'm coming up on a target, you know what I'm saying? Boom, ready to go. See what I'm saying? Um, and plus the sling came from the Shotgun Connecticut Company. They're known for their quality shotguns. That right there, however, is a Stoger double barrel 12 gauge gun. It's awesome. Guns are like tattoos, man. They're fun to have, but they're expensive. And you gotta be responsible with both of them, too. You don't clean your tattoo, that shit gets infected. You end up losing limbs if you get gangrene and shit. So, yeah. And also go to a respectable gun dealer, just like you would go to a respectable tattoo shop. <clears throat> And don't just get a tattoo because you think everyone's doing it and it's the cool thing, you know. Get a tattoo because you personally want it. And, you know what I'm saying? My first one I got done at uh, McGough Tattoo Parlor in Ballast City, North Dakota. And it bends with my arm because it's on the center of it right there. And the second one, this cobra that I got done... If I get close enough, you can probably see it right there on the head, the pentagram on the head. This took some time to get done, but it was done. It was done in one session. This uh, particular cobra, I got this done right there. All right, I got the cobra done at Black Sunday Tattoo Parlor here in Casper, Wyoming. And the, these are the only two tattoos that I have at the moment. I would like to get more eventually, but, you know, I'm not in an immediate hurry, you know. I definitely want to get some Aussie knuckles right here for Aussie Osborne, obviously. It's the O-Z-Z-Y right there, you know. I want to get some demon wings on my back. Get, like, a Cradle of Filth band logo tattooed right here. Have that, like, black and then fill it in with dark green. It looks like as fuck. Speaking of tattoos, they have these tattoos now that you can get that glow in the dark under black light. So if you're the kind of person that you want to have a tattoo but you can't have it visible because it would look unprofessional where you work, you get a tattoo that's that has black light ink basically, and you go to a, a rave or a club or whatever, or you have a black light in your house, and the tattoo only shows up underneath black light. So it would allow you to have a tattoo and be discreet about it. See what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't mind getting a black light tattoo of, of an all-seeing eye with the pyramid, like, right here on my forehead, just right there. That'd be cool. Get, like, an all-seeing eye tattooed right here in black light ink. That'd be cool as fuck. Yeah, I've been working on growing this scruff out, and it's definitely coming along nicely. Although, I do need to shave. I'm getting kind of scruffy, and, um, well, I don't have any razors, so I'll have to recharge my rechargeable. Now, the secret to growing, like, a mustache or a goatee of any kind is... I go without shaving for a couple days. I'll, I'll use myself as an example. I go without shaving for a couple days, and you see it, I get all this all this stubble right here. You know what I'm saying? So if I wanted to grow a fucking mustache, all I'd have to do is shave everything else around the mustache off completely, and then let that stubble grow out. 
and then that's basically it. You know, it's much like getting your hair cut, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's the same thing for anywhere, for guys. This is for the, the dudes out there, of course, if you're looking to grow some facial hair. Um, it's really easy, but it takes a lot of time. Some guys grow facial hair a lot faster than others. Um, this is definitely taken a couple months to grow in, which isn't too bad, but it's real. And if I tug on it, you can see it's real. Yeah. Got my hair fucking tied off in a braid right here. <clears throat> Chilling like an old school rock star villain. Cause you know my raps are the for realist in the 307 to the 701. Bust a mad flow to the day I'm dead and done. Dusted. Yo, sometimes people can't be trusted. Rusted like a junk car. Chilling with you like an old school rock star. Yo. My raps are fresh like a lemon sit down, acting sour when I'm sitting here making videos on YouTube that are longer than a fucking hour. It's like, oh shit. My rapping skills too legit to quit. Yo. You know what's so you, you in sincerely Facebook, there are people out there who struggle with their sexuality and their sexual identity. You know what I'm saying? There are people out there who are struggling with transgender and bisexual, homosexual, whatever the fuck you want to call it, asexual, whatever. And people see it. Uh, people see a heterosexual goth like myself. I'm not afraid to be myself, you know, and because I'm goth, I wear eyeliner or whatever. And people use it as a crack to make fun of me, you know, calling me names like faggot and tranny and shit like that, and. I don't let it get to me, man, because there are bigger fucking problems out there. There are people out there right now going through a fucking hurricane now, and you know what I'm saying? So, like, I really feel like I have no right to complain about somebody calling me a fucking name on a social media website because it just seems insignificant. And then I see my friends getting bullied on YouTube on their own videos, and I'm not putting up with it. I'm just like, no, I'm fucking, I'm not putting up with it, man. We got an inspection coming up on September 15th, but that's all right. I know I'm going to pass that shit. Look at what needs to be done. The stove's looking good. The dishes are being kept up. You know what I'm saying? I can use mineral spirits to get these stains out of the carpet. Take like a, a wet washcloth and some mineral spirits and scrub them, then vacuum that shit dry. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you know, despite being a bachelor with autism, you know what I'm saying. I keep the place clean. You know. It, 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 it could be worse. I've seen people who are way more slobby than I am, you know. <clears throat> I got a vacuum that works too, so I can start moving shit around and vacuuming the floor up, making sure it looks nice and neat, you know. That ain't gonna be a problem. And with the window wide open and the ashtrays are empty, it ain't going to smell like tobacco in here, you know what I'm saying? And the apartment's clean, doesn't smell like tobacco. 
easy enough. And when you're a kid, you hate doing chores and shit, but when you're a fucking adult, guess what? You gotta do them. You know? Sometimes when you're doing chores, the best way to do it is just to fucking, you know, get it done, you know? Throw on some music, whatever, you know? The age-old cliche when children complain about doing the dishes and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, well... Sooner or later, eventually you realize that you have to do them. Trying to shave double horns into my widow's peak didn't work out too well, but it is actually growing back quite nicely. And you can see, like right in there, it's starting to grow back real nicely. Yeah, it's coming in nice and thick. But hair does take a long time to grow back, unfortunately. Should have thought about that before trying out some radical new hairstyle. But it's whatever. I've seen like goths with half their fucking head shaved. Was kind of cool. The way that smoke ring, the way that smoke ring just disappeared, it kind of formed the snake of a cobra, and kind of went whoosh, straight up like that. That was kind of cool. Sometimes if I blow a smoke ring just right, when it dissipates, it turns into a, like like the outline of a cobra, and it just you know it's cool shit. That's good pipe tobacco, man, but it's moist as fuck. And when, when you get that tobacco, it's just like super fucking moist. You gotta roast it with your lighter. But it gives you a nice nicotine buzz, so you really, you know, it's a trade off. Hmm, where the bloody hell is my guitar pick? Uh, there it is. I'll switch my rings around so I can shred easier and all that sort of thing. All right. Would you like a little bit of guitar playing for this live video? Would that be wicked cool? I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> Let's see here. We got the BC Rich Warlock Revenge Series electric guitar. I custom painted it with two different shades of dark green. And the two different shades of dark green with the white and the black. And then we got four stickers. Medical marijuana cheap chews, medical marijuana dispensary sticker. Death Wish Coffee. On the back, we have a Spitfire sticker, of course. And you got this uh, skull looking guitar strap deal. Yeah. And um, the thing about the Fender Mustang amp that I have, it could be turned down to zero all the way. And if you turn it on, as soon as you turn it on, it just fucking cranks. Like, you know. So, to start off, I'll make sure the volume is turned down on my guitar so I, I can adjust it and not make Facebook go deaf. And it's weird because I turn it on like, I turn it on like that, like, like I just did. And the only reason you don't hear it is because the fucking volume is down on the guitar. 
So I reach down, turn the volume, like jiggle the volume button on it just a little bit on the amp so I can turn the guitar up all the way. on guitar, I kind of discovered that. No, seriously, when I fuck around on guitar, I discover shit like that. That's totally an Eddie Van Halen song. Thank you. 
I got a call. Hold on a second. Was uh, I might do that here in a bit. I was going to talk to Sid Man real quick, and then I can stop by. All right. Yeah, I'm making a live Facebook video right now, so I'll have to call you back here when I on my way over there. All right, man. Sounds good. Talk catch you, ladies. Oh, I messed up. I messed up on the national anthem anyway, so let's try it again. Oops. Well, you know, the important thing is not how to play it, but this is an after hour study to emergency. Press A for all other inquiries and press one. You know, that's just the kicker of it. I messed up on it once and, I don't know, subconsciously I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it and, you know. It's a sweet guitar, and I fuck around with it a lot, but... Myself for messing up on it. It's just like, uh, what's, what's getting mad gonna solve about it? You know, nothing really. <sighs> that was some spaghetti western. that slide, man. Thank you. 
This is a cursor instrument. <laughs> So close to the end too. Fuck. Oh, I gotta finish it. It's gonna drive my fucking OCD mad. You spend months learning a song on guitar just to fuck up on it on a live video for Facebook. It's not just classic life. <sighs> much disappointment in myself where I cannot play the national anthem properly sometimes and it pisses me off. I could be the most awesome shredder at guitar in the world. I could be the fastest player out there. It wouldn't make a damn bit of difference to me if I can't play the fucking national anthem which I worked months on end to learn. <sighs> So I'm not answering it.
I don't know who this person is that keeps fucking calling me, but I'm trying to do a fucking video here, and it's probably some fucking troll. I won't let you. But they keep photobombing me, guess what? I want to block your fucking number, asshole. Uh, block this color, block. Uh, who we are. You're not leaving a voicemail, you're just calling me repeatedly. I was some fucking troll, I got a hold of my cell phone number trying to fuck with me. And it's like, I'm not gonna put up with it. <laughs> on your temper and here you are about to fucking blow a gasket over messing up on a song. Oh yeah, I'm gonna work on my temper. <laughs> can do is ignore it for the most part and when they call you on a fucking YouTube video it's or a Facebook video you know Now I'm spilling pink salmon juice all over my pan. And the sexual innuendos begin. Mm. If you don't like eating fish, there's something wrong with you, man. Bastard open. Put this in the sink so I can wash it. Motherfucker, really? God, oh, dude. A fucking fork fell on the ground. God damn it. Well, you know, I'll just sterilize it real quick. Fuck it. Sometimes things don't happen as smoothly as we'd like them to. Read the comments, huh?
Don't eat what? The pink salmon? Why not? Pink salmon is delicious. Mm. YouTube comments, you're still on. I just approve it, certain ones and disapprove them, certain ones. Yeah, I've been reading the comments. Mm. Get some food in my stomach and then I'll uh, let's take a crack at that national anthem again. Mm. I get cranky when I get hungry sometimes. And the fish is It feels like there's times I overreact to shit. Oh. Josh, a lot of people are hesitant to eat food straight out of a can, especially found that can got stinky or gross like fish. That's because it is like, that's because it is fish. You know, that's because it is fish. Like legitimately, um, people blowing up my phone. And I could have. God damn it. Yo. Hello. Oh, that's not Steve. 